Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Chef Tune with your favorite chef, Saul Lopez. What we're doing tonight, we're gonna do a nice little dinner. So we're gonna have chicken breast with a little bit of saute of baby squash, baby zucchini, a little bit of carrots, no starch. We're doing the no starch thing, the no carbs. It's the new thing, especially in California. We're getting ready for the summer. We want that six pack to show instead of that keg. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut down, but folks, don't forget, you could always make your favorite rice, your favorite mashed potatoes, and include that baked potato. Totally up to you. What we're gonna do is just vegetables and thin. What we did is we marinated our chicken. I told you guys about marinating. Use a Ziploc bag, put two chicken breasts. This one has olive oil, a little bit of uh, oregano, salt and pepper, a little bit of orange juice, and that's it. So just marinate it in there. We did it last night. Should have good flavors. Once you do it, folks, obviously lay down, getting ready. Salt and pepper the chicken. Okay. What you wanna do, you wanna come back, follow me. You're gonna get a pan nice and hot. A little bit of oil, folks, not too much. Get it nice and hot. And at the same time, we're gonna preheat here our oven at 450. We're gonna finish off this chicken breast in the oven, folks. Here we go. Drop it down. Cook it about two minutes on each side. Now, Carlitos, turn back over here. This is a great point right now. Folks, sanitation is a real big key right here. When you deal with poultry, anything with chicken, please keep everything away from it. Please wash your hands as much as possible. That is one of the things you do not want to get in your system. You do not want to get food poisoning, salmonella, any of that stuff. So please wash your hands. Obviously, you got two minutes on one side. Turn around, get on your seat, wash your hands. You go from there. Obviously, you're going to come back on this side. At least those, the strong. So we got it once. We got it down on one side. Flip it over, folks. Another two minutes on this side. Now, obviously, while that's going, what we're doing here is we're searing our chicken breast on both sides, finish it off in the oven. Now, obviously there's six ounce chicken breast, seven ounce, eight ounce, nine ounce. They're humongous. There's some that are huge. You really can't finish on the pan. You gotta finish it off in the oven. Something at this size right here, it's like a five ounce chicken breast. What we're gonna do just to keep it set, we're gonna finish it off in the oven while, while the chicken breast in the oven, we saute the vegetables. Once you got that going on, here on both sides, folks. You got some nice marks. Get a pan, a little bit of foil. Straight in the oven, 450. There you go, folks. Now, while we wait for the chicken breast, what we're gonna do, obviously, at that time, you'll go back, cut your vegetables, get them ready, get your pan ready to go, so once that chicken breast's out, saute those vegetables. It should only take about a minute or two, so stay tuned and, and come back with us, and I'll show you guys, as soon as we pull out the chicken breast, we're gonna let it rest, and meanwhile, we'll saute the veggies, so come back. We got that chicken breast, we pan seared in the oven, ready to go. It's been about almost eight minutes at uh, 425 degrees. So at this time, right when it's ready, we're gonna go and saute these veggies. So follow me, guys. So all you need, obviously you're gonna need some olive oil, some salt and pepper, so get that ready. All right. Put your olive oil in there. Guys, remember, another great key. Make sure you got yourself your favorite drink favorite music out there and the favorite people around you because it's the best time you're about to eat. Life is good. Anyway, we come back in here. We got baby carrots, baby zucchini, baby squash. Yeah, this is a little bit more uh, in the little higher end. What we did is uh, we found a great deal today, so we got these vegetables. You're going to do everything's cut at the same cut. Throw them in there, folks. Then what you're going to do, you're going to grab your salt and your pepper mix. And then, my favorite, I, my favorite seasoning, lemon pepper. I don't know why, I'm, I don't know if it's a Latino in me. I just don't know if I like to cheat with it, but it just makes everything better. So let's get that in there. Remember folks, these vegetables are a nice pan. Heat in my heat. This cut, probably take about a minute or two. All right, so we're gonna do it while that's going. Once again, we're gonna check our chicken breast. There it is folks, we checked it. Now, everyone wants to know, how do you know the chicken breast is ready? There's two ways. Get a thermometer and make sure it's uh, you, you, you make sure you uh you, you check the the temperature, which has to be up above 160, 165, or else grab a fork or a knife, whatever you feel comfortable with, and go to the thickest side. Punch your in there, make a cut. Look inside. Obviously, it's it's, it's cooked all the way. I'm gonna show you guys. You guys can see. Show them in. Looks like it's cooked all the way. Perfect. We're gonna let that rest while our vegetables go. All right. Once again, folks, it only takes about a couple of minutes to get this. So once your chicken's ready, get your pan hot, let your chicken sit out, and let it set. Like any other type of meat, folks, once you cook something that's been in the oven or pan let it sit for a couple of minutes. Something like a steak or a roast, 
that maybe goes for about 10 minutes, something big portion, but something like this, a minute or two will be perfect, so uh, you go from there. Probably you wanna make sure these vegetables are ready to go. Once again, you wanna check if they're ready, grab one. Here we go. Obviously, you are the chef, so you wanna make sure it seasoning is great because uh, whatever you put out there, all the people are gonna criticize it on the way back home in the car. So anyway, you guys even fully cooked. What are gonna do? Come back over here. Lay them down, folks. Lay them down. Then I come back for a chicken breast. Straight over, folks. Simple. Something light, easy, heavy. Heavy in flavor, though. And then once again, folks, what we're trying to do, we're, gonna, we're trying to keep on the healthy side and safe side. But of course, you need some type of sauce or spread. So what I did, I grabbed some barbecue sauce, a little shirasa, stirred it. Get some in there, folks. Drop it like this. Put your favorite spoon. Make a line. So there it is, folks. Simple, easy dinner. You got some sauteed summer squash, summer summer zucchini, a little bit of baby carrots, a nice little pantry chicken breast. And your favorite barbecue hot, your 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 favorite bar, uh, spicy uh, barbecue. Once again, folks, you guys gotta stay tuned to shoot tune, shoot Chef Tunes because videos like this and entree like this, you're gonna be an expert. You're gonna wanna get a job with me, so stay tuned to Chef Tunes.